growing up in LA, the way you dress, you know, it shows how aware you are of trends and it really reflects like how cool you are. My parents, they grew up Christian, but converted to Sufism, which is a form of Islam in, in their college years. I was inspired to go to Hajj, but after that, I converted to Orthodox Judaism. Many of the rabbis in my community inspired me to want to come to Yeshiva here in Jerusalem. I came, I fell in love with Jerusalem, and I decided to stay. I think I like Sephardi food better. I love like the brown, crispy rice. Yeah, on the Ashkenazi side, I love eating cholin on Shabbos with kishka. People are so optimistic here in Jerusalem. Yeah, there's much less money, but the level of appreciation for what you have is so great. People ask me all the time what it's like in Mer Sharim because there's a reputation of being radical. And, but from my experiences, when I go places like say buy food and I'm a little bit short on money, people there, the store owners give to me and say, come back when you have money. The Haredi way of dressing is like the future of fashion in America. It's like so exclusive, it's so swag, it identifies who the person is. You know, I don't want to dress like a mannequin in the mall. You know, I want to express who I am, my own style. I'm a person who studies Torah. I want to live that life, and the fashion that I have should reflect that. Since I've been here in Jerusalem, living in the religious community, there's a tremendous fear of Arabs and terrorism. The same fear that the religious community has against Arabs is similar to the same fear that whites have against blacks in America. At the same time, when I make eye contact with someone, I'm not looking at what makes us different. I want to see what we have in common.